Are you gonna do this group dance? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. We're back with Minty. Um as I was starting to record, um Carmine actually called and invited the whole family out to uh, out to dinner or out to lunch. So they're out at the burger barn. Um, or Hogan's burger, whatever. <laughs> um, getting some, getting some food here. So, um, Carmine, I think, is missing his family a little bit. He's having those, those blues, his family blues, after you move out. So let's have Minty just kind of, you know, talk to Carmine, uh, ask about his day. He is, and Carmine and, um. Ruddy are talking, and I think Carmine's kind of looking out for little brother a little bit. So I did say that we wanted to have something happen to Ruddy where it's kind of going to shape him into what happens in his adulthood, and I think Carmine knows a little bit. Carmine knows, oh look at this pretty sim. My name Gabriel. Uh, Carmine knows just a little bit. Oh, is he drawing on the place, Matt? And he's just letting, he's just letting Ruddy know, um... You know, I I met Erica and she's all right, but he happens to work at an art gallery and he saw her there with someone else and they were not really, you know, it didn't look like a friendly relationship. It looked like something more. So, Ruddy's a little bit concerned with that, I think. A little tiny bit concerned. Oh, they all love their food. Uh, because he really, really is into Erica, and I think he's not really happy that Carmine brought up, brought it up to him. Um, but here, it, here he is. I mean, here's that information, so he's got to deal with that now. So, are they all eating, or just looking at their food? <laughs> I think they're just looking at their food, Carmine. Please. <laughs> Ruddy's not that hungry even. Actually, none of them were really that hungry. Carmine was the only hungry one. <laughs> I guess Grayson is happy to have a BLT. Alright, we'll speed this up a little bit because I do want Ruddy to sort of deal with that information about Erica. Um, who else is at the restaurant? Oh, Myra. Myra and her hubby, Wolfgang. Yuki got married, looks like. To Tetsu. <laughs> and Myla. Yes, yes, Minty always discovers... <laughs> discovers vegetarian food. Uh, who put these dishes right here? Excuse me. Who did this to poor Rusty? That waitress put those dishes right on Rusty's placemat that he's drawing on. Rusty, I'll help you out. Put these over here. How dare you. All right, so they're all done. Minty's gonna go ahead and she says, hey, Carmine, I'll pay for it. Done with their meal. Oh, is he, does he get to take this? Just have him put this in his inventory. He wants to take a placemat home. Cool, so they're all gonna go home and Ruddy's gonna have to deal with something uh, that he does not like to deal with. He's gonna have to call Erica and find out you know, what? what's happening? You want to come over and, and chat about it? Alright. Hello? <laughs> it's everyone. <laughs> Can we go? Switch control to Ruddy. I, I don't know why it bugs out like that sometimes when we go. Oh well. So Ruddy's going to call Erica and invite her over. Kind of confront her a little bit about what Carmine said. And Carmine, you know, he's just being a good older brother. When he sees something suspicious, he wants wants to watch out for his younger brothers. Ruddy especially, because they they were pretty close as as kids, teenager and kid, so. Um, and he he knows Ruddy's a little bit more wild than he was, a little bit um, out, more outspoken. And he knows he's in a an odd place right now, that teen, those teenage years. So let's call Erica. 
invite Erica to hang out. And Ruddy has constantly said, what's going on over here? Oh, Grayson's cleaning. Ru Ruddy has constantly said and told Minty and all of them that he thinks Erica might be the one. So it's a little bit disturbing that she could possibly, um, when we're here, let's ask about the day. Okay, so he's gonna talk to Erica. I wonder, can they come back here? And they're gonna do it outside. Sit and chat here. They're gonna do it out of the ear of everyone else. They need some privacy. Yep, he's talking. Um, so let's do a little bit of. Um, I guess yell at her a little bit, saying, My brother said, Where's she going? She knows that we're about to break up with her. Um, he's just gonna come over here and yell at her because he knows he's just. It's gonna be confronting her about what what Carmine saw. She's trying to explain herself, but I don't think he's quite buying it. So let's yell again. And I know that he could ask just to be friends, but he was all into her. Very, very into her. So I think he's just gonna go ahead and say, You know what? I don't- I don't think this is working out. Oh, and Carmine's over here. Ruddy Nothberry's breaking up with Erica Mori. Oh! <laughs> oh, I missed all of that. I was gonna catch a picture. Oh, she's super angry and she hates him now. Oh, Is- are they complete enemies? They're kind of friends, but they... Broken up. Alright, let's go have him tell... Tell Carmine. He's heartbroken. Break up blues. Erica, we don't want you to come in here. I'm talking through the door. Let's uh, complain about problems. Oh, he, I guess he's happy now because of the fire <laughs> and a drink and a pleasant conversation and good decorations. He's just happy when he's at home. Can they sit and chat here? Carmine, you want to come in? So he's getting advice from his big bro. Can he ask for advice? Don't, don't go cry, Carmine, or Ruddy. Come here and ask for advice. Is he actually crying in his bed? <laughs> yes. Uh, come here, okay. Come here and ask uh, Minty for advice. <clears throat> ask for advice. Mom, I broke up with my girlfriend. She was cheating on me a little bit. I thought she was the one. Maybe Minty will have some good advice for, Car for Ruddy. He needs charisma level four and have had first three first kisses, so he's had one. She's giving him some good advice, I think. Complain about problems. Complain about everything. <laughs> he's just not in a good mood right now. Who's he talking to? Oh, he's looking at. I was like, who is he talking to? Alright, uh, I think Grayson's gonna say, hey, listen, can you go? Ask to leave. Don't be drinking at our house. Whoops, sorry, hit the mic there. So Erica's gonna go. Ruddy went to bed. He's gonna talk to Carmine. Grayson's talking to Carmine, being like, hey, thanks. Thanks for looking out for your brother. Just be there for him. Because he, he was really into this girl. She was bad news. Bad news bears. Inside joke. Um, can we? <laughs> ask about another sim. Natasha. He's gonna ask how Natasha's doing. Natasha is my ball and chain. We're married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Carmine, for putting it that way. Uh, how much? Oh my god, look how many... Look how far up that is. Oh no. I, guys, I don't know if we're even gonna get... Six days. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know if we're even gonna be able to get 
Ruddy and them to a young adult before Grayson's gone. He might have to drink a potion. Does he have enough for that? How much is the potion of youth? I should know that from the Time Lord. But I don't. One thousand, he does have enough for that. We'll go ahead and just buy one for Grayson. Um, and I am going to have him drink it. But not yet because it would be kind of a waste. He'll drink it further up. <clears throat> so it just kind of reset his time as an elder. <laughs> Ruddy is so sad because he broke up. Call sadness hotline. <laughs> Can he do that? <laughs> he's going to do that real quick when he's done. Alright, bye Carmine. It's helping him out too. Okay, and he's gonna I think he's gonna go ahead and play some games. Uh he he knows he has school in the morning. Um but he needs to get that fun up a little bit. He's not having not having fun at all. He broke up with a girlfriend. So he's gonna get that fun. Blog about feelings. Okay, now let's go to sleep so he's not uh, not completely exhausted in the morning. All right. Oh, so it's, su it's Sunday. They don't have to go to school. It was only Saturday. Oh, Rusty, he got scared. Okay, have him come here. Use, take a shower. Maybe Minty can go ahead and... Hi, kitty. Maybe Minty can go ahead and... Um, Rusty, what are you doing? Stop that. Can she serve some breakfast? Sabotage. <laughs> um, let's have her cook some eggs and toast. Family size, because there's only four of them. No need to do the whole big party size. What's this? Curious about clubs from not being in any clubs. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright. Rusty, how are you? Look, he's a smart kid. Extremely smart kid. Takes after his mom, probably. Social... Creativity, not so much, and definitely no motor. <laughs> no motor. <laughs> no motor skills. <clears throat> Alright, so Minty's making some food. Grayson's still getting some sleep. Ruddy had a late night. Is he feeling flirty? I am. I mean, <laughs> I guess he can feel flirty. He's not feeling bad about the breakup anymore. Rusty, if you would have waited, like, two more minutes, you would have had eggs and toast instead of cake. So I'm going to go ahead and have Ruddy. It's a little bit early, but he's got a, he's got a day planned today. He's got to move on with his life. So he's going to spend the day sort of working on himself. <laughs> he's super flirty right now for some reason. And Grayson, come and grab, grab a serving too. He's going to work on um, working out, getting his charisma up there a little bit. Um, focusing on what's really important to him. Because right now... He could care less about Erica. He hopes she has a good life, but he's not going to be in it. If she's not going to be faithful to him, he d he does not care. Okay, Minty's cleaning up. And I'll clean up this one because we want the money. And I'll put this eggs and toast in the fridge for you. Alright, so he's going to come over here and he's going to um, work out. Try to try to solve those problems by doing a little bit of exercise. What's Rusty doing? Playing games? Browse kid-friendly websites. Why don't you do that arithmetic one? Oh no, let's do chat in kids' room. Minty, what are you up to? Why don't you pee like a champion? And Grayson, you could go ahead and take a shower if you want. There you go. And Ruddy's working out. He should really work on his charisma, but there's not really a good way other than... Just, you know, in in the, sh <laughs> or next to the mirror right now. He could go out and talk to people and stuff, but, mm. All right. He did his workout for the day. Uh, we should kick Erica out of the club. Can we do that? <laughs> Remove Erica from the club. Well, can we add anyone else? I don't, a fang. Sherry Davies, I guess. Sure, that looks good. Um, maybe he wants to have a club gathering. 
So they're gonna do that. Let's start a gathering. He's gonna go out with everyone uh, today because it's it's a Sunday and I think it's gonna be his last weekend before he becomes a young adult. Six days? Yeah. Should be five days now. It'll be Friday. He might become a young adult on Saturday. <laughs> So we're going to have him throw just a, a quick party uh, with his, uh, I don't know, teen dream group, I guess. It's, I'm, I'm calling it a, a group from school. Like it maybe it's his, de his, his debate team from school, um, which happens to be all women. <laughs> but he's going to go ahead and hang out with them just to try to have some fun. So let's go over here. What does the club like to do? Dance. Play video games, be friendly, kiss, be romantic. So they're going to go in and dance, it looks like. To no music? Is their music even playing? Maybe they can do a, a, grou a group dance? <laughs> Let's see how their group dance is going. They're gonna do this group dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, good group dance. And the others are just did not want to participate at all. <laughs> There's no music going because it's so early in the morning. But they did their group dance. So, all right. I want him to just um debate existence of. I want him to work on his charisma. So debate game. Um, let's have get to know, let's have heartfelt compliment, because that's going to give them some club stuff too. Um, let's have him heartfelt compliment, how about, uh, ask about career, there we go. He's just working on some, uh, oh he got dancing level 2, they're still dancing at least. He's getting his fun up. Is he getting his charisma up by talking to people? Not really, huh? Um, Brighton Day. Oh, she's a glutton. <laughs> Discuss fitness techniques. Oh, she doesn't like her. Um, talk about teen dream. Oh, this girl's doing her dance. Brian is a manual laborer. High school student. Okay. Is this Brian Fang? It is. <laughs> That's Marley and Victor's daughter. Everyone keeps kicking the people out of the dance floor because they want to do their dances. There's the bartender coming. I don't think he's really getting his... Um, I don't think he's really getting his charisma up, though. I thought you could just talk. Oh, I guess he's halfway through level two. Oh, he's flirting a little bit. Um, can you straight up just kiss someone? Let's try it. We're gonna try it. I don't know how it's gonna go. He's gonna just straight up kiss this girl. May Vale. <laughs> He's... Does it count as a first kiss? Oh my god. Oh my god. It doesn't count as a first kiss, though. Okay, we gotta keep that in mind. So no point in doing all that so um let's have him flirt have him show off outfit and brighten day just trying to get that charisma skill up and getting to know some people how about um share photos heartfelt compliment okay who's this brian no. Uh, Shay Johnson. Uh -huh. Young adult. There's still no music, you guys. And you're all just still dancing. <laughs> the stairs are messing up the camera. <laughs> okay, um, let's have him um, share photos with her. Ask about career. How's the charisma? A little bit. Sherry is a retail employee. A high school student. We knew that. Ow. She hurt herself. Okay. Um, how about discuss interests and heartfelt compliment. So we're getting tons of club points. 
Can we do anything with the club points? Buy club perks. Um, could do a. Uh, we can't do much. Get these kids stuff. Angry club vibe. Flirty. Um, let's do a handshake. Fist bump. <laughs> so we got our fist bump. Okay. Can you fist bump someone? Where's the, how do you do the fist bump now? Can he... Clubs. Club handshake. Teen dream handshake. Where is he? Oh, he went upstairs to do something? I want to see the fist bump. <laughs> He's not feeling good? Okay. Clubs. Club handshake. Teen dream handshake. <laughs> okay, went too fast for me, but all right, all right. Ruddy spent the day out. Um, he's gonna go ahead and end end the gathering, and he's gonna head home, I think. So he spent the day out with his debate team. They were trying to cheer him up a little bit, dared him to kiss this girl. Hello, Ruddy, can you go home? Are you stuck? There we go. Um, so he had a kiss, but it did not count as a first kiss. So we will have to keep that in mind. Uh, he got some social ready for the next generation, so he's going to need that because he's going to become a politician. I still don't think he knows that quite yet. He's really just, he's kind of bummed that his girlfriend that he thought he was going to get married to um, sort of cheated on him a little bit. He's kind of really heart, actually he's really heartbroken over that. What is that graphic glitch right there? <laughs> um, he's really heartbroken over that. Um, he told everyone he was fine and everything, but... He's just kind of, you know, she was so nice. She was so perfect. He's a little bit broken up. So, first girlfriend ever and she cheated on him. So, Reddy's going to go home and we're going to continue just playing until he becomes a young adult. <laughs> so, I think there's only a few more episodes. I might do a little bit off screen because we've pretty much done everything that we wanted to do with this generation. Uh, right now, there's not going to be a whole lot going on so I think we're going to I'm going to play a little bit off camera and get to the point where Ruddy is ready to become a young adult so um, we are going to end the episode here where's Minty so Minty has been a great first generation sim um, she's got four days Grayson we got to make sure he doesn't die on us five days in four days, I think. Yep. So, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, not much else is going to happen this first generation. So, I think we're going to get to the point where Minty and Rusty's um, birthday party is going to be. And I'll start recording then. So, we'll get to the birthday party. It's going to be that episode and maybe the same episode, uh, Carmine, will actually be ready to turn into a young adult so we'll have like a birthday extravaganza uh maybe just one more episode with all those birthdays because this is right after theirs and then that will be the last episode so basically what i'm saying is we have one more episode uh of this first generation um we'll start off this second generation with carmine moving out and finding an apartment um we'll decorate it maybe he will already be in that apartment uh, or maybe we'll start and then I'll find one. We'll probably have to evict someone because of the mod. <laughs> so guys, if you do want to see more of the Not So Berry Legacy, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. We've got one more episode in this generation. Um, otherwise, then, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.